Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Okay, now let's move on to multiplying monomials. So recall your product rule, or it is isa sa mga loss of exponents natin. It says that if you have the same basis, in this case x, so we have x raised to m and x raised to n, pareho yung base nila, which is yung x, equal lang din ito to x raised to, you just add the exponents, okay? So again, take note, dapat pareho yung base mo para ma-add mo yung exponents nila if you are multiplying these two monomials, okay? Okay, so in multiplying monomials, you just multiply the constant coefficients. And then, pagdating naman sa iyong variables, you just add the exponents ng no mga common yung base, okay? Then multiply all these factors, yung constant mo and then yung variables mo. So, for example, if we have 2x squared y times 4xy cubed, multiply mo na yung constant coefficient, so 2 times 4, and then add the exponents of the common basis. So, for x raised to 2, kasi x squared dito, plus 1. Again, kapag walang nakalagay na exponent, ang exponent niya dyan is automatically 1, alright? So, for y naman, we have 1 plus 3, kaya y raised to 1 plus 3. And then, ayan, multiply lang sila lahat. We will get 8 times x cubed times y raised to 4. Okay, examples muna tayo para sa mga medyo nalilito pa. Example number 1, let's start with something easy, x squared times x. Ang common base natin dito is x, okay? So we add the exponents 2 plus 1. This is equal to x raised to 3 or x cubed. How about if you have 4xy times 3x squared y? Multiply the coefficients, the constant coefficients, it's 4 times x. Tapos, ang x mo dito would be raised 1 plus 2. Okay, how about your y? 1 plus 1. Guys, again ha, pag walang coefficient, may mga 1 dyan. Okay, so this is equal to 12x cubed y squared. Okay, number 3, negative 2x squared y times 5xy raised to 7. This is equal to negative 2 times 5x raised to 2 plus 1. And then yung y mo, ano, 1 plus 7. Okay, so this is, this is equal to negative 10x cubed y raised to 8. This is natin ang context sa next examples. Negative 9x cubed y times negative 3. x squared y raised to 3. Okay, so negative 9 times negative 3, that's equal to positive 27. x cubed times x squared, x raised to 3 plus 2 or 5. y times y cubed, that's y raised to 1 plus 3 or 4. Okay? How about number 5? 2x squared y squared times negative 5xyz. That's equal to 2 times negative 5, negative 10. x squared times x. So x is 2 plus 1 or 3. y squared times y. Or y raised to 2 plus 1 or 3 then. And then, may isa tayong z. So let's just multiply yung whole thing times z. Okay. So now, try to do this on your own. Okay. Sagutan na natin. Number one. j raised to 4 times k cube j raised to 4. So this is equal to k cube, copy lang, and then j raised to 8. Kasi 4 plus 4. How about number 2? 2x cube times negative 4x yz, okay? yz. This is equal to 2 times negative 4, so that's negative 8. x cubed times x, so x raised to 4, copy line y and z. What this one? x cubed times y cubed times z cubed. 42x y squared 
z raised to 3, tama ba? So this is equal to 42 times 1 or 42. x raised to 3 plus 1, so 4. y raised to 3 plus 2, so that's 5. And z raised to 3 plus 3 or 6. Any values for number 4? We have a, b times 2a squared, b squared times 3 squared. Okay, yun na miss ko. a cubed, b squared. So the answer here would be a raised to 1 plus 2 plus 3, so that's 6. 2 times 9, 18. Okay. Yun ba? b, 3, 2, 2, so that's 7, c raised to 2. Okay na ba to? Number 5. 4yz times 3x squared y times 11x ano na? z cubed. Okay? So 4 times 3, that's 12 times 11, that's 132, correct? x squared plus uh, times x, that's x cubed. y times y, that's y squared, and z times z cubed, that's z raised to 4. Okay? So I guess, mag-stop na lang tayo dito. <laughs>